come upon everybody. Dope dealer, drop his drugs. Prostitute, go in a state of shock. Preachers cry That's right. because they know they can't make it. That's right. Church have early dismissal and the entire congregation is lost. And yet been going to church for 30, 40, and 50 years just to find out you're on your way to an everlasting hell. My job is to bring you the thoughts of God that's against your thoughts, your feelings, the way you was raised, how you was taught, have nothing in common with God. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and we'll start at verse 7. All right, to you that are watching, again, we're coming to you live from Seattle, Washington. We're way up in the northwestern part of this ungodly country known as America, (laughs) the land of the devil. (laughs) Eh? That's right. That's what it is, the land of the devil. That's right. The only reason why God didn't destroy this country yet He's given America time to get right with him. You that are here in Seattle, Washington, I don't care who your pastor is. I don't care what church you're a member of. You got two choices, heaven or hell. This get rich, touch and claim preaching, all of it came from hell. These preachers got you thinking the way you get close to God is give money. Money ain't going to get you close to God. If that's the case, every poor, fer- every poor person is in a bad predicament. You can be broke as broke can be, but yet be rich by walking with God. Are you getting what I'm telling you? All right, follow me in the Bible. Get this. Isaiah chapter 55, and we'll start at verse 7. All right. Let the wicked forsake his way. What? Let the wicked forsake his way. Start off talking about Seattle, Washington. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Not just Seattle, but every other place. That's right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Are you wicked today? Wicked. You might as well say amen. Amen. (laughs) I know you don't want to, but you might as well. Might as well. Let the wicked. Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, let's look at your way. Notice it says. His way. His way. His way. It didn't say God's way because God's way is not wicked. That's right. Let the wicked leave off. That's right. His way. His way. Look at your way. Cigarette sucker. Pipe smoker. Tobacco chewer. Mm -hmm. Dice roller. Card player, pool player, hot pants wearer, that's right. halter wearer, yeah. CVS hair, mm. Walgreen toupee. Amen. Men arching their eyebrows. That's right. Men 70 years old and got his mustache and beard and hair dot dyed midnight black like a fool. That's right. Beard midnight black with little gray stubbles on the scalp. Amen. You will love the way God made you. That's right. Let what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Hanging out all night waiting to be picked up by some preacher that just left church. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let the wicked. Let the wicked forsake his way. Same sex marriage. Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. His way. Let the wicked. Let the wicked forsake his way. Banquets in your church. That's right. Selling tickets to come in the church. That's right. Selling tickets to go to any program that's supposed to represent Christ. Amen. You ain't got no business have to pay to come see something that's of God. No, no. God told us how to come to him. He said, come without money. And without price. Listen at this. In Isaiah chapter 55 and at verse 1. That's what? Ho, everyone that thirsted. Ho! Everyone that thirsted. The first word is what? Ho. Stop. Stop. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He didn't even click what he was reading. <laughs> what? Ho. Stop. That's it. That's what mm. the man say when he's riding a horse. That's Ho. That's right. Stop. Ho. Oh. Mm. Go ahead. Man. Stop. Go ahead. I'm going. Glory to God. What did the Holy Ghost say, William? Ho. Stop. Everyone that thirsty. Everyone that's thirsty. Come ye to the waters. Come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money. He that don't have no money. Come ye. Come ye. Buy and eat. Buy and 
eat. Ye come buy wine and milk. Come get wine and milk. Without money. Without money. And without price. That's it. Hallelujah. Get this free. Mm. Hallelujah. You don't have to pay a dime to come see us ever. Ever. That's right. Ever. That's right. That man, you can come get killed free. That's free. Hmm? That's right. Oh, so you going to see Pastor Jenner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how much it cost? Nothing. 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 <laughs> what you going for? To die. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to shoot me. You going? Yeah, the Bible said they shall be shot in the womb. And wounded. We're That's shooting right. everybody. Oh, yes, you are. I'm shooting you with scripture. That's right. I don't exempt you either, preacher. That's I don't right. care who you are. Yeah. I don't care if you do say God called and sent you to That's preach right. the gospel. I don't oh, yeah. care. Right. If God called and sent you to preach the gospel, oh, yeah. then you ain't got no problem with what I'm preaching. That's right. If you got a problem with what I'm preaching, that devil sent you. That's right. That's right. None of God's apostles fought each other. No. Right. Eh? Oh, no. Right. Not one. Not one. Even though Paul came on after the Son of God died, and then that body was glorified, and he ascended above all heavens, yeah. Paul didn't have the pleasure that the other apostles had right. by walking with Jesus in the flesh, but he walked with him in the spirit. That's right. And even though he came on later, his teaching didn't differ from Peter or That's James right. or John right. or Matthias or That's Matthias right. or Matthalomew. That's right. None of them. None of them. Right. Glory take God. They all had the same thing. That's right. Right. Amen. Are you kidding what I'm telling you? Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, you that are wicked watching. Amen. It's time to forsake your way, three God believer. That's right. Two God believer. That's right. A big God and a little Jesus. Amen. And a third person in the Godhead. That's a threefold lie. That That's a lie. So far out of hell. That's right. The devil done served us that lie, and I'm determined to beat it back. Amen. You know what? Let the wicked forsake his way. Forsake your way. Forsake his way. Ignore the color of your skin. Stop thinking you so much because you're white. That's right. Because you're not. That's right. Right. And you stop thinking you so much because you're black. Right. Yeah. Because you're not. Amen. 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 Problem with the church is they won't tell you. No. I will. Oh, right. yes, you will. Amen. Hmm? Oh, yes, you will. Amen. Many of you black churches feel so honored because a white man or a white woman come in there. Yeah. And you sit there, oh. <laughs> they say, we had white folks today. <laughs> I've met them like that. That's right. We, we actually had some white people come to church. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's the way some of them are. That's right. Amen. And then you get some black brother or black sister come inside of a white church. Sometimes they'll be like, wow, what, what, what are they doing here? What are they? That's right. <laughs> or they may grab their pocketbooks or clutch bag. <laughs> Amen. This message bring every color. Every, every color. Because the Lord said that all nations. All nations shall flow unto it. Over that God flow unto it. That's right. Here in God's church, we treat all colors the same. That's right. We honored by everybody, brother. That's right. Eh? That's right. We don't put no color above the other. No. I don't look at a white sister and say, she's my white sister. You just my sister. That's right. I don't look at a, 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 a black brother and say, that's my black brother. You just my brother. For my house shall be called in house of prayer. Listen at what God said. In Isaiah chapter 56 and at you verse 7. I thunder it hard. Oh, yes. Because racism is still alive. And to my sad regret, well. Well. In a lot of so-called Pentecostal churches. That's right. True. I have a lot of folk that left the United Pentecostal Church. That's right. One of their biggest complaints was racism. Amen. It ain't hard to find that some of these churches are racist, especially if they got, sometimes to my sad regret, a slave driver for an overseer. Mm. You will hardly find any man or woman of color yeah. for a high position. Mm. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. They will only put white brothers and sisters in position oh, yeah. to suppress People of color. That's right. That's nothing but a church plantation. That's right. Yeah? Amen. That's a church plantation. That's right. Amen. Here I am, a runaway slave that Run away. comes back to your plantation. I'll burn your church down. That's right. And I'll burn it down with Bible. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I tell all the slaves, black, white, brown, yellow, red, come over here on the Lord's side. That's right. That's it. Wonderful, brother. Oh, you listen to the old troublemaker. That's why, they, that's why they say that man is crazy. That's right. Why do he say these things? I preach what is true. True. And because I'm not getting paid, yeah. I'm not voted by a board of directors. Yeah. 
I don't worry about what folk think. I, I, anytime we preach what's written and you cringe, yeah. then obviously the word of God stuck you. <laughs> That's right. You see, and the Bible is called a sword. That's right. Anytime you cringe, you have felt the poking yes, sir. of the scripture. That's right. Yeah? That's right. You've been poked, I said. Amen. I said, you've been poked. That's right. Yeah? That's why some is squirming. They, that blade is piercing. <laughs> so rich it comes. That's right. Come on, son. Isaiah chapter 56 <laughs> and verse 7. <laughs> All right. For mine house. My House. Shall be called a house of prayer. This is God's church for how much? For all people. Let the black. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They got the brown, the yellow, right. the red, the white, the tan, the cream, the coat, the pecan color. That's right. Walnut, almond, if you're psychedelic. That's right. For some reason, if you're born looking like a tie dye shirt, you come on to mine house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah? Mine house. My house. Shall be called a house of prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For how much? For all. All people. All people. I'm all after people. all the people. All people. Why do you think we're traveling like we are? That's right. Thank God we go among every, every color every under the every sun. Color. Amen. Amen. And it's beautiful when I look at this morning, this yes. afternoon, look like yes. a flower garden in here. Yeah. All these different colors representing yeah. God's creation. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, My house. My house. Shall be called a house of prayer. Shall be called a house of prayer. For all people. Hallelujah. All people. I'm a fisherman. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Eh? You oh, know what yes. a fisherman, when he drop his net, Hallelujah. fish come up all type of colors. That's right. That's what I am, a fisherman. Hallelujah. I'm not out trying to Hallelujah. I'm not out trying to catch no one race of fish. No, no. God told me, toss my net. Hallelujah. That's right. Take off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My house. Toss my net. Go oh, ahead. Hey. Thank God, when I pull my net in, yes. I see Africans, I see Australians, right. I see Samoan and Fiji Island and right. Indian and Jamaicans That's and right. Cambodians and right. Japanese and That's Chinese. Right. Yes, I'm just keep fishing, you keep know. Keep fishing, go ahead. Take God. For my house, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Go ahead, take God. Shall be called, hallelujah. Called a house of prayer. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take God. Hallelujah. Shall be called a house of prayer. A house of prayer. For all yes. people. Amen. That's why he got us traveling like this. Oh, yes. He made me a God told his apostles. That's right. Ye shall catch, catch men. Men. Catch men. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. He made me an apostle. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I heard God's voice. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank God when he stopped me in my track, you know. Wonderful. Said I have a pen unto thee for this purpose. This purpose. To make the amendment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He made me an apostle. Yes, he did. And then taught me how to fish. That's right. We can go in any, anywhere. Any, anywhere. Anywhere. Victory is ours before we get there. That's right. It'll take some men 20, 30, 40, and 50 years. To build up the congregation. Oh, yes. When we go somewhere, we got a congregation instant like coffee. That's right. Last night alone, 60 souls in one night. One night. Most men wouldn't baptize that if they pastored 60 years. That's true. It's the Lord's doing. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's the Lord's doing. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Go back to where we were. Let's get the foundation of it. Back now. in Isaiah chapter 55 and at yes. verse 7. Follow me. Let the wicked forsake his way. All right, you wicked things out there. Amen. Time for you to break off your wicked. Break it off. You got death in front of you and God in back of you. That's right. Choose now. That's right. Choose what you want. That's right. Choose whom you're going to serve, you young serve. man. Young girl, middle age or old. That's right. Choose. Choose. God did not design life no. for you to focus on how much money to make and leave God out. No way. Money not going to get you out the grave. No. Money not going to save you. That's right. The only thing that you're going to need to get into the kingdom of God yeah. is God. That's right. Money, money has this place in life. But money won't help you. Won't help you. You know the way these false prophets preach money, they got you thinking the more money you give, the more blessings you receive. It ain't like that at all. Uh, that's the right. The greatest offering that you can give the Lord don't come from your wallet. That's right. The greatest offering you can give the Lord is you. That's right. That's right. I want to say, well, what about prosperity, Pastor Jennings? This junk that these men preach, 
is not prosperity, it's racketeering. That's it. True prosperity is have nothing to do with land. That's right. It has nothing to do with money. That's right. It has nothing to do with cars. That's right. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. Thus saith the Lord. You don't know God, you're poor. That's right. You don't know God, you're a fool. That's right. That's right. I don't care if you got a private jet. Mm -hmm. When you die, what you gonna do with that jet? What you gonna do with it? If you got a Rolls Royce and you got a, a sectional couch for chairs in that Rolls Royce. Amen. You only can sit in one place at a time. That's right. I don't care nothing about that mess. <laughs> That's eh? right. Thus saith the Lord. Listen at this. Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Follow me and get this. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. I don't care nothing about you went to Bible school, cemetery school. That's right. You got your PhD, DD. School don't make preachers. No. No, you think you're something because you got a PhD. That's why you just... Listen, brothers and sisters, that's what it means when you go to a church mm -hmm. and you see the preachers with a robe on. You ever see them and got them three stripes on the arm? Right, right. That means a doctorate. Right. Mm -hmm. He's claiming he's a doctor, but he can't perform biblical surgery. That's yeah. right. He can't cut scripture. That's right. I care nothing about your little paper. Amen. I received letters from out of Florida from some cemetery school and uh, offered me an honorary doctorate of divinity. Mm. And I didn't respond to them, and they kept sending it. Kept mm. sending it. Wanted to, to give me an honorary Doctor of Divinity, I don't need that paper to be a preacher. <laughs> That's right. Amen. God made me a preacher. That's right. I take that Doctor of Divinity and make you eat it up. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yes. Amen. Why? Because the Bible is against the wisdom of men. Wisdom the of Bible men. said, let not the wise man. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Do you hear this? Let in Do you hear this? Jeremiah, Come on, son. Jeremiah 9 and verse 23. And not the wise man. Glory in his wisdom. Don't glory in your education. Nothing wrong with having education, but education without God is unprofitable. Excellent. That's right. Eh? Neither let the mighty man. Don't let the mighty man. Glory in his might. God glory in his might. Let not the rich man. Don't let the rich That's man. Glory in his riches. That's why it's glory not a glory. sin to be rich. Right. The sin is when riches possess you. That's right. That's, that's right. the sin. That's the sin. Oh, man, you can own a mansion. You can own a fleet of cars. Yeah. But if that stuff possess you, yeah. you're in trouble. That's right. Because Jacob was rich. That's right. Abraham was rich. Yeah. Yeah. Solomon was rich. Yeah. Amen. So it's not a sin to be rich. That's right. Depending upon how you got it. Mm. That's right. He that got the riches and don't right. do it right, you die a fool. That's right. All right. Let not the rich man glory in his, wi in his riches, what? but let him that glorious glory let him in that this. Glory. What shall we glory in, William? That he, un that he understandeth and knoweth me. He understand and know God. That I am the Lord. Wait a minute. Mm. This is the greatest and most important place of life. That's right. That you may understand. That he understandeth and knoweth me. And know us. Me. Oh, Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. No singular. That he understandeth and knoweth me. If you don't know God as being him, me, me one. Th that I. That we that I still got to know one. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't know one, your education, you're still an educated fool. That's right. Uh -huh. That I am and the Lord. I, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Which exerciseth loving kindness. Which exercise mercy. Judgment. Judgment. And righteousness in the and earth. Right doing. For in right deeds in the earth. For in these things I delight. Wait a minute. Amen. I want you preachers that are listening to get this. That's right. You that's going around telling the people. God wants you to be rich right now. It is God's will that nobody be poor. Every preacher that said that blasphemed. Blasphemy. Come on, say what, Pastor Jennings? If you ever went to any church and heard any pastor, I don't care if it's your father, your grandfather, your son, your uncle, or your lying mama. That's right. That claimed to be a woman preacher. That's right. And you heard anybody say, it isn't God's will. Yeah. God don't want nobody to be poor. They have told an outstanding lie on the Bible. St. John chapter 12 and at verse 8. Because Jesus told us otherwise. For the poor always ye have with you. You better give chapter and verse again and book. St. John chapter 12. And we're at verse 8. Jesus said what? For the poor always ye have with you. If he said you're going to have the poor with you always, they're going to be here until the Lord comes. That's right. That's always. 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 That's right. And if the Lord said always, always is always. That's right. That's it. For the poor always. Always. Ye have with you. It's going to be poor folk always. Always. 
That's right. Any preacher come along and say, God don't want nobody to be poor, that's his personal hype. That's right. It's nothing but a hype talk. That's right. Let's come on back to Bible. For the poor. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. come on back to Bible. That's it. Let everybody, glory be to God of Abraham, come on back to Bible that's right. and do what the word of God say do. That, that's right. You can't do it the way God said it. You stay out of church. Stay out of church. Just stay out of church. Out. Don't right. even rub up against the church. And if you do, don't even look back and see what you rub up against. That's right. You got to come back back and do up the way the word of God said or stay home and go to hell from home. Back in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. Get this. Let the wicked forsake his way. It's time to break off the wickedness here out of Washington. That's, that's uh -huh. right. And the unrighteous man. And, and, and the unrighteous, the sinner man. His thoughts. Wait a minute, the sinner man got to get rid of what? And let the, unri and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Now you got to stop thinking the way you think sinner man. That's right. That's right. The center man hear me break up fornication. He say, look, man, look. that stuff is too good for me to stop. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Center man tell me, hear me bring Bible, cleanse yourself from all filthiness of the flesh. flesh. The center man say, come on, Pastor Jennings. God, look, look, I don't, I, I don't want, I'm, I'm not into that. <laughs> I, I'm not into that. That's you? Right. Who you. are you? That's right. That's right. Man, let me tell you what you are. Mm -hmm. How many here ever seen a bubble form on water, then pop? Yeah. Raise your hand. Do you know what make that bubble form on water? Yeah. Just air. That's it. Man, you are equal to that little bubble on water. That's right. When the air leaves, the bubble disappears. That's right. The breath that is in your body is what got you functioning. That's it. And when God snatched that breath, just like the bubble pop, yeah. you will pop. Oh, yeah. You will no longer exist. That's right. Man, you think it's something because you got your house paid off. You still don't own it. Right, right, right. right. That's right. Because now you got a great bill to pay. Oh, yeah. God is calling for your life. That's right. You out here think it's something because you got about 13 kids mm. by 15 different women. Amen. You think it's something. You think you're God gifted women because you's a male hoe. That's right. Eh? All nations before him. You think it's something because the men cater to you, sister, like flies laying on dung. That's right. You better stay in mind the breath is just in your old nostrils. Soon God is going to snatch your breath and your body going to be left in bed, left in the bathroom, left in the tub, drop on the floor in the right. kitchen, lay there next to some man that ain't your husband, That's right. fall at your laptop, Go ahead, man. Get in your car. Go ahead. Wherever. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take God wherever you're at. Wherever you're at. He's going to snatch that breath. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. That's what? All nations before him. All nations. All nations before him. Before God. Are as nothing. You're nothing. And they are counted to him. And they're counted to God. Less than nothing. You're less than nothing, brother. That's right. Sister. That's right. Brother, what is it that make you want to go out there and join a gang and carjack somebody? Yeah. What is it? Why do you feel like a man? <clears throat> Why it take you to pack a 38 mm -hmm. or 45? That's right. To make you feel like a man. Right. What is it that make you want to put a red cloth in your head or a blue cloth? That's right. That, uh, that make you be a member of some gang that make you feel like a man. That's right. What is it that make you want to wear your pants down to advertise your booty like you's a male prostitute yeah, that's that's to make you feel like a man? That's right. That's right. It ain't a man that's a real man advertises his butt. No. No. Not a real man. You a real man? Amen. Or are you gay? Mm. Or are you a sissy? Right. Because a real man don't advertise his behind. That's right. Unless you're making a neighborhood booty call. That's right. Am I right? There? Amen. Amen. Something wrong with that picture. Something wrong with that. You from the hood, yeah. strolling, yeah. showing your booty. That's right. That don't go together. That don't go together. You hard. That's right. You strolling yeah. with your hair in two plaits and bangs. That's right. Or you got a man bun like That's a right. girl. That's right. Wearing your mama bobby pin. Go ahead. With your pants hanging down. That's right. Showing your booty. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. You mixed up. Yeah. See, when I came from the hood, 
<laughs> we wore high top shoes called left hooks. Yeah. <laughs> Stay for Adams. Yeah. Right. We may have our bottom pants leg of our khakis rolled up. Mm -hmm. May throw on a jacket and a yeah. cap. Yeah. You know? Right. And uh, our pants was buckled. Yeah. Right. There were right. there wasn't fake hoodlums. Right. They was real hoodlums. Real hoodlums. You know, they walk. Yeah. Stroke. Yes, sir. That's, that's, that's real hoodlums. When well, you got your pants hanging down, yeah. there's a switch in one of your cheeks. You can't even stroll right. That's right. You try to stroll. That's right. That's right. There's a dip in your split. That's right. That's right. A man may be known by his look. A man may be known, may be known by his look. So what are you? What a are you? Faggot or what? That's right. That's right. That's right. If a girl is seen walking the street advertising her behind there, call her a hoe. Yes, they would. Now, what you think you look like? That's right. You That's think true. you like a man? My lord. You look like a male whore. That's right. A long hair, but advertising male whore. That's right. Am I right, I say? Hallelujah. And you wonder why gay men looking at you That's walk right. by you. How you doing? That's right. And you want to fight them. That's right. You want to fight them and show them you're behind. My Lord. Make up your mind. That's right. Either you're a man or a woman. Yeah. Choose ye. Choose ye. This day. That's right. How you going to serve. That's right. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 19. Verses 29 and 30. Follow me. A man may be known by his look. A man hmm. may be known by his look. By his appearance. And one that hath understanding. One that hath understanding. By his countenance. By his countenance. When thou meetest him. When you meet him. A man's attire. A man's clothing. And excessive laughter. And excessive laughter. And gait. And gait. Show what he is. Show wow. what he is. He is. What he is. Here you are walking the street, pants hanging down, laughing. A bunch of booty that's, boys. That's right. On the corners. <laughs> that's right. All of y'all showing y'all behind. That's right. The booty boys. The booty boys. That's what y'all are. That's right. Your daddy, your son, Go ahead. your brother, your uncle, yeah. your pastor, your deacon, your choir member. That's right. Bunch of booty boys. Booty boys. <laughs> Amen. The booty boy church. The booty, that's right. Booty boy, deacon boy. That's right. And you want to be respected as a man. Amen. Who in a right mind going to take you serious? Yeah. Advertising your butt. That's right. You think you're a man? My lord. You ain't no man. No. You's a booty boy. That's right. Remember that. That's right. Write that down. Take right, it home with write you. Write it down. <laughs> Booty boy. That's right. That goes for anybody here. That's right. You wear your pants like that, use a booty boy. That's a booty boy. And if you're old man, use a booty grandpa. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Uh, a man may be known by his look. Bible speaks plain here. In Ecclesiastes 19 Anyone and verse 29 know and 30. That this is the truth. If a girl was outside like that, they'd call her a whore. They'd call her a prostitute quick. Yes, they would. She won't get no honor. That's right. No respect. No. She'll get picked up, done what's done, right. toss her back in the street. That's true. How do you think you look, fella? That's right. That's right. Let's, let's, let's make it an even playing field. That's right. What makes you think you look like a man yeah. with your behind showing and she just look like a whore? That's right. Amen. You look like a male whore. Yeah. Right. Satan had designed clothing and style. Go ahead, brother. Take away the masculinity from the man. That's right. And you fell for it. That's right. Good teaching, brother. Now you want to wear ponytail. Right. Now you want to wear skin tight jeans. That's right. Now you want to wear your pants hanging down. Yeah. Now you want to wear a tank top. That's right. Now you want to arch your eyebrows. Yeah. 
You oh, want yes. to have your nails shining yeah. like a handful of reflectors. That's right. That's right. God said he made man. That's right. Hey, I'm glad God made me a man, brother. Yeah. God made me a man. Oh, yes. Nothing gay about me. No, no. Not at all. Not at all. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? A man may be known by his look. That's why these men won't preach this. No. Because they got the choir full of flowers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Wall to wall flowers wall. just singing. That's He's right. mine, mine, mine. <laughs> she, my head just bobbing like a boggle head. That's right. Go ahead, man. Gay men run revival in Pentecostal churches. Yeah. So-called apostolic churches now waving rainbow flags. That's right. And these old lazy poor pit bums because of their love for money. Yeah. Well, say nothing. That's right. The churches have become a doghouse. Oh, yes. It's no longer a house of prayer for all people. It's a doghouse. That's right. That's right. And let me show you how God people feel about it. Jeremiah chapter 4 and that verse 30. All right, sir. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? When thou art spoiled, oh, yeah. what wilt thou do? with dirty hands, interrupt our elders when they talk. That's right. Hit back at our parents, not that. No. Oh, we back talk your mama, back talk your father. That's right. He wasn't allowed to do that. That's right. We saw kids back talk, back talking their parents. But when I came up, the parents didn't say that was cute. No, no. no the, the, the mama took your picture That's with right. her hand. That's right. All you saw was a flash. Amen. <laughs> yeah. That's all you saw. And it's, a, it's amazing how she hits you without even looking at you. That's right. And she's just still walking. Bye! She saw a flash. Instant, you got developed. Developed. <laughs> you got developed. That's it right. was a Kodak moment. That's yeah. right. Glory to God. Withhold not correction from the child. Do you hear this? In Proverbs chapter 23 and verse oh, 13. Oh, we're living in a wicked time, a wicked time. Everything had changed. Oh, yes. And it had changed for the worse. That's right. That's why the word of God says, evil men and something. Deuces shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. The churches don't put quiet and hush hush about sin. That's true. Because all they want is the crowd, so the preacher don't have to work and get all the money. So what you have, wall to wall motivational speakers, you don't have wall to wall preachers. That's right. That's right. You just got motivational. All these men in mega churches, they one of them is a preacher. No. Here, 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 here now. No, no. I said not one. Not one. It ain't a mega preacher out here. That's right. They ain't nothing but motivational pimps. That's all. Tell you stuff that make you feel good in your sin. That's right. You're comfortable. You're relaxing in your That's sin. That's right. Spoil, Spoil. Read the Bible. God sent men as warners. Oh, yes. Right. God ain't never sent a man to pat you on the back about your wrong. No. God come along and send a man and give him the word and put him in his mouth to put fear in you, make you run. Go ahead. Run! That's right. Because the judgment of God was coming. That's right. And the judgment of God is not only coming upon America, but it's coming upon the whole world. That's right. And he sent me, glory to God, ahead of his judgment Preacher. to tell you to run. That's right. Run out from your sin and run to God. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you getting right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take off. What is that? Back in Jeremiah 4 and verse 30. Come on, son. And when thou art spoiled, when you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? When you are ruined. You know, when you spoil a person, you ruin them. Oh, yes. They're all rotten because they want to have their way. Yes. Yes. Amen. Child can't have their way. Hit back at mommy and start crying and wallowing it all on the floor. Man, when I came up, my mother and father said no. Yeah. We couldn't fall on no floor and wallow. No. 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 If we dreamed of doing it. <laughs> They came in a dream and beat you. That's right. <laughs> you had a dream you was getting a beating at the same time. Amen. You go in the supermarket. Mother be telling the son, Billy, stop. He said, no. That's true. Billy, I said, stop. He hit a pop. No. That's right. 
Billy, you're, you're bad. You're bad. And he tell her, I don't care. Shut up. That's true. That's Man, true. if that was us, you'll find us in the shopping cart. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You'll think it's a sh cart full of groceries. No, we in there. That's right. Looking. <laughs> Yeah? That's right. Go oh, and take God. Did and, you hear this? And when thou art spoiled, when you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? What will you do? Though right? thou, mm. thou closest thyself with crimson, with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, what else? Though thou reddest thy face with painting, what profit is it with? In vain, in vain shalt thou make thyself you fair. You look good in vain. Thy Your lovers will despise you. They will seek thy life. All right, let's go to work. Let's give this now. Come Back on. in Isaiah 55 and verse 7. All right. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked leave off his wicked ways. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And the unrighteous man you better lay aside the way you think. You may as well stop thinking Amen. that right. what you're doing is right. What you're doing is wrong. You are an embarrassment to God. That's right. I want to say to every man under the sun, do you know that we were made for God's glory? For God's glory. And God made man in his image and his likeness. Yeah. That's not just narrowed down to the man's shape no. or the man's form or the main fashion. No. Because you can have the form of God, but still not made in God's image. That's right. When you're made in God's image, it's bigger than your shape. Yeah. You got to have the characteristics of God. Yeah. But you got to have God's character to yeah. go along with the shape. That's right. You can have the shape, but don't have the character. So right. therefore, you're out of character, but yet you hold the image. That's right. And you defile the image when your character don't meet up to God's character. That's right. Eh? Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked forsake his way. Lay down your cigarette. Lay down your gambling. Lay down your lottery player. That's right. Seattle, Washington, you ought to want God's way. That's right. it. Lay aside your wicked ways and repent of your sins. Anybody want to be right? Amen. Be Bible right. Amen. And be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet Amen. this afternoon if you want it now. Amen. Stand on your feet if you want to get Bible right. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. As James set up out there. All right, you, you that want to get baptized, you can be seated again. Be back seated. And then after the benediction, you go right out after we close out with prayer. You be seated. Wonderful. And uh, we'll close out with prayer. And then you go straight out where you see them brothers and sisters back there holding that baptized sign. After I close out with prayer, you just march on out right. and get ready to go down in the water. Now I want to say to all of you in Seattle, Washington, and all of you that are listening, please remember, I hope to see Seattle well represented and the youth conference in the month of April, which is next month. I hope to see you doing tax weekend. <laughs> That's when the uh, youth convention take place. Amen. April 15th, 16th, and 17th. You come on now. Yeah. We're calling for all of our brothers and sisters from all around the world. They will be there by the hundreds. Yes, our convention, we are celebrating God. Yes, and as we come together to celebrate God's goodness and God's greatness. Come on out of your churches. Amen. Pack up and leave your churches. I want to say to Seattle, you keep listening. We'll let you know our temporary location when we open up the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ here in Seattle, Washington. Keep listening now. Amen. We'll open up. Amen. Well, my secretary is working on that so we can get a temporary location while we speak. And we will announce the day. We want to get started after our youth conference. I hope I have something nailed down by the first Sunday of May. That's what I'm targeting. It's wonderful. By the first Sunday of May, I want to target that, which give me time to promote it. Give me a promotion time. Who give me the correct time, brothers? Give me the correct time quickly, please. 157. All right, the evening session start at 5 o'clock. Don't go home and watch your game. You go on and take a break and eat. Come on back. Now, the evening session going to be short. Because I got a flight to catch out. Normally I fly out the next day, but I have to get back yeah. this evening. So it's going to be a short uh, evening session. So you come on back on time. Uh, the elder, one of the ministers, will open up with prayer at 5 o'clock. He will open up with prayer at 5 and immediately after prayer. Then we'll have prayer, uh, praise and testimony service, which will be about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we'll dive into the Bible. And I won't have time to stick around to greet everybody because I got to get to the airport. So please forgive me if I don't get your hand now or later. So let me greet you now. Greetings, everybody, and peace be unto everybody. Let us all stand. We ask our elders.